a lot of men, unfortunately, they do not value themselves to begin with. And this is why women never value them. Unfortunately, in Western societies, the boys, the men, we are not cultivated at a young age in mass to place a high value on ourselves. We are not cultivated to do this. So, th so this is why it is uncommon to see a man that just thinks highly of himself, period. It's very uncommon to see a man just have sincere confidence in himself is rare regardless of what he got going on he still values himself which of course a man should always strive to have things going on in his life he should always try to progress but there's a lot of men that do not see themselves as valuable until someone else sees them as valuable and this is a big problem amongst all men all men in Western societies are becoming increasingly more like this. It really depends on your background as well. That is a major factor in this as far as how you were raised and what kind of home life you had. You have a head start on people that did not have these blessings. But regardless of where you start in life, we're all living life. So you don't waste time focusing on where other people are starting when life is already moving life is always moving so you can't be sitting there crying about they got more than me they were blessed with more than me when all of us are blessed in comparison to someone else so all of us have some blessings going on for us and we just have to focus on what we got that's going well in our lives and how we can enhance that. That's what we need to focus on. And one, one major part of this whole not valuing yourself as a man is people putting too much importance on what women want. Just a tremendous amount of focus on what do the ladies want? What do the girls want? What, what do women want? What do you want? Because ultimately, a lot of men, they're just trying to do better with women. A lot of men, they want to improve their interactions with women on an intimate level. They want to get better. They want to have a more fulfilling relationship or they just want to be a real player, whatever. They're trying to do better. And some of these guys are looking for a, a cheat code to do better. Actually, a lot of men are looking for a cheat code on how to improve their dealings with women fast. So they lean on things like money. Oh, women like money. Women like power, which is true. They like it. That's just one thing that they like. But when it comes to what women want, women, truth be told, they want it all. If you brought a woman, planet Earth on your back, if you brought her Mercury, Venus on your back, and you held it up to her, she gonna still think in the back of her mind, damn, well, if, if he could have did, did all that, I mean, he could have brought Jupiter too. I mean, he could have brought Pluto also. Women want it all. And that's not even something to be upset about. A lot of people want it all. Kids want it all. Women want it all. Some men want it all. So it's not even something to get upset about when someone has a delusional expectations because they're just not gonna get what they want. And you have to become a man that's fine with telling a woman no to what she wants. And a lot of men, this is how I know that they really don't value themselves. Just the baseline level of valuing themselves because they engage in too much 
chasing of women, too much chasing of, of validation from women, too much of all of these external things to make them feel better about themselves, too much of everything other than themselves is involved in them caring about themselves. Whether a man has it all or a man has nothing, he should still value himself. And since women on an instinctual level, they follow the lead of the man anyway. So when a man doesn't value himself, and women are very perceptive. So when a woman knows that a man doesn't really value himself, it's all just fluff, it's all just superficial. She's going to start to not value you as well. And there are a lot of men that are very good at getting women in the door, but they cannot maintain any situation they have with the woman because it's all superficial. They struggle at the maintenance part of it. You see, when a man really cares about himself, he cares about his life in totality. He cares about it all because it all matters. So he's already going to be working on many different areas of himself. He's already gonna be focused on that. And you gotta be able to focus on more than one thing at a time. And I know that, that that is actually a difficult thing for people to do, but when you do value yourself, it all matters. It's all important. And when a man truly, sincerely values himself, he is going to work on everything. And when a man is working on everything, guess who's going to notice? Guess who's going to be looking at the person that's really focused on themselves, that's really striving to do better and be better? Guess who's going to be looking at that individual, especially if you're out and about, especially if you're trying to do new things, if you're trying to expand your experiences in life? Guess who's going to be watching you and checking for you? Guess who's going to see you as something to value you? that woman all women women value those that value themselves and before you try to become a high value man because that is a hot topic right now trying to who's qualifies as a high value man how can i become a high value man shout out to kevin samuels before you become a high value man you got to become a, a man that actually cares about himself period you got to become a man that values himself first. That's the first step. And you got to stop caring too much about what women want and care more about what is attractive to a woman because that is what's more important. You being what women find attractive rather than you trying to be what women want because women want everything. Women want things that can be even contradictory. Women want a man that is paid, but also has a lot of free time for them. So just with that example alone, that's one example. There are endless examples. Women want it all and it's okay that they want it all. But what's not okay is when a man buys into that, when a man tries to give her all because you can't do it. And a lot of men, they have made the mistake of trying to be everything that a woman wants. And you can't do that on purpose. If you are everything that a woman wants, you, you're not, you didn't do that on purpose. You didn't do it on purpose. You were just blessed to come across a woman that really chose up with her dream man. And that dream man was you. But you cannot live your life based off of the wants of women because they want it all. And it's okay that they want it all. Just don't buy into that. You gotta value yourself at where you're at, but still strive to be more, still strive to be better for yourself. And some of you that lack in self-esteem, you may be thinking to yourself when you hear me speak on this topic, okay. I don't have that much confidence. How do I build more value in myself? I don't have enough confidence. I don't have that much confidence. Self-development is such an important thing. You have to get outside of your comfort zone because there are certain men that 
they get very accustomed to their comfort zone and they absolutely refuse to grow. Instead of getting out of their comfort zone and expanding their experiences, their life experiences, they begin to shelter themselves from the world in a way that is damaging to them. And it's not even about improving yourself with the end goal in mind of getting women. No, you improve yourself for self. But, but once a man is really focused on self, women will be a byproduct of that. And that is how every man should operate because we have too many men out here that are trying to find a cheat code instead of doing step one, which is to value yourself first. 